Welcome back to another video guys, and this is just a video on what your car says about you. Let's get started. Starting off for number one, the Toyota Corolla. Now, being an owner of a Toyota Corolla, here's mine, it's just a paddock bomb, but, and it is an older one, you really just want it to go from A to B, or it's your mum's car. You either insanely adore it, because it's like your first car, or you really don't care about it. There's no in between. My right, number two, BMWs. Now, BMWs have kind of grown on me. I mean, call me a BMW kid because that's a thing now. But honestly, I mean, the only downside is, well, they leak so much oil. If anyone drives behind them, it's like driving on ice. <laughs> modifications but damn they leak a lot of oil seriously like do you do you just have like 20 containers in the boot of just straight up oil or something number three toyota land cruiser you bought it because you were like oh it's good at off-roading but about 90 90 percent of the people who bought it don't actually take it off-roading that goes with about most off-road vehicles and you know when you put on off-road parts and then it's just been driven on the road like why just like save money oh but it looks cool you're not gonna take it off-roading though number four going from an off-roader that um never really goes off-road to a sports car now, you probably are wearing a suit and probably look like this about 80% of the time if you have one. Because uh, you're a businessman and you just love the sound of it. And... Why would I hate? Honestly, the best sounding car in the world. Alrighty, for number five, the Dodge Challenger slash Dodge Charger. All I'm going to say is, um, you pay about 20 grand of fuel a month, and, uh, MPG, uh, does not exist, and you don't care about the amount of fuel you use, you just care if it sounds like this. You, you don't, you don't really care if it uses up fuel, um, although, except for the moment that you get stranded because you run out of fuel after doing a burnout alrighty for number six the lamborghini huracan now there's three different types of um huracans out there well i mean different models but uh number one it's either a rental number two you're a businessman who owns one or number three you've removed the rear bumper and gave it about 2000 horsepower and it spits out flames like a gtr also uh there's there's a fourth one YouTubers to test if people are gold diggers. Alrighty, number seven, the Toyota Hilux. I'm talking from basically 1989 to current when the most recognizable. Um, there's different types of people like you might be a tradie, kind of like the Land Cruiser. I don't know why I didn't mention that. Um, or you're some person who just put a bunch of modifications on it and never takes it off road, off roading. Or you go camping with it, or it's something that you just use as kind of a backup, like if you've got like a 2000 something Hilux or something like that. Uh, Hiluxes are cool, I love them. I've been in multiple in my life. Number eight, any kind of Skyline GTR from the R32 to the R35. And you love um, putting a body kit on it and if you have the R35, you love giving it 3,000 horsepower, putting slicks on there, and sending it down the drag strip. Kind of like the Mark IV Supra. As the dopamine triggers in your mind just go through the roof, because, well, what do you think? It's a fast car. 3,000 horsepower. Vroom. I mean, stock, they don't have that much, but stock, but still fast. Number nine, any kind of modern Ferrari. Um, number one, you've either gotten sued by Ferrari for putting some kind of wrap or livery on it or modifying it or putting a body kit on it, twin turbos or whatever. 
or driving it in a way that they would just get mad at you. I mean, come on, it's literally, they literally bought the car off of you. I know it's in the agreement or whatever, if they even have that in the agreement, but they bought the car. Let them have freedom. I mean, this is why Lambros are just like known as like sports cars and supercars and stuff like that. Like, first thing when someone's like, oh, name a, like, a sports car, I mean, like, a supercar or something like that, they name, they just say Lamborghini. They'll just say Lamborghini. And, like, which one, like, I don't know. Um, uh, some people think Ferrari, but, honestly, you've got so much more freedom. And I know I talked about before, Lambos, you give them, like, 2,000 horsepower, remove the rear bumper. Do not mess with the Lambo if the rear bumper is not on there and you see two twin turbos or even if it has no turbos, just don't mess with it. I don't want to be seeing some stock Lambo, Lamborghini Huracan that just has a rear bumper deleted. Number 10, going from uh, a loud, like most of the time V12 or V8 Ferrari like supercar to Teslas. Now, you probably have a plate that says low gas, like this one. And you think you're better than everyone else because you have a Tesla. That's that's what a lot of Tesla owners think. And like, oh, well, I'm saving the environment. Well, how's electricity made? Besides like solar panels and windmills, because that's not how electricity is fully made. This is a pollution that happens when you make electricity. So actually you're making more damage to the environment. So you're not doing anything. And if you guys made it this far, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any great content. All right, finally, we've got a bonus one. Number 11, the final one is a bonus. So the Toyota Prius, arguably the most hated car in the world. A lot of them act like Toyota owners, but some of them are super chill and just do not care about the car. Which, I mean, to be fair, it's a Prius. Although, the new designs, they're actually not that bad. So, if you've got, like, the new Prius, like, the new design Prius, I rock with it. I actually think it's kind of fire. Hate on me if you want to. This is all based off my opinion. But, yeah... All the other prices, nah, sorry, gonna have to pass. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!